I decided that I would never ever become a member of any church. I decided that I would indulge in all pleasures, all sinfulness, whatever life can provide. Ang pasya sa dilim, manatili na lang. Huwag nang umanib sa anumang samahan. Ituon ang gawa sa pagpapabaya. Ilugmok ang sarili sa pagkakasala. Bato, bato sa langit, ang tamaan huwag magalit. I am uh, Brother Arto Heiskanen. I was originally born in Finland, but uh, for the past 20 years I have resided uh, in Lund, Sweden. I am a professor of biomedical engineering and uh, I am working at Technical University of Denmark. Nasa puso ng tao ang tanging kagustuhan, makita ang landas patungo sa lumalang. Kung sa isang samahan, hindi masumpungan, Masakit sa damdamin, matamong kabiguan. Namulat sa paniniwala na nasa tamang daan, mula pagkabata, ginabayan ng magulang. At nang magkaisip kanyang natuklasan, nasa maling daan, nasa kadiliman. My father was a Seventh-day Adventist minister and I was uh, introduced uh, throughout the years to all the teachings upheld by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, meaning it was uh, in the nutscale uh, the whole theological background of the religion. I was taught in the church was that there is indeed a true Church of Christ which leads to salvation and that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is exactly that. But I never found anything like that in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, I decided that I would never ever become a member of any church. I decided that I would indulge in all pleasures, all sinfulness, whatever life can provide. If there is indeed true Church of Christ as the Bible describes it, If it is God's will, one day I will find it. Ang pasya sa dilim, manatili na lang. Huwag nang umanib sa anumang samahan. Ituon ang gawa sa pagpapabaya. Ilugmok ang sarili sa pagkakasala. Ang hanap na liwanag, kung darating man, ituturo ng Diyos tamang kapanahunan. Makikita rin, maghihintay na lamang. Well, during my life in Finland, of course, uh, there was no connection to Iglesia Ni Cristo, Church of Christ. In October 1995, I, I had the opportunity to receive a few issues of Pasugo, or God's Message magazine. I eagerly read them, and indeed, that was the very first time that I ever saw Iglesia Ni Cristo, Church of Christ, stated anywhere. 1996, in July, I had opportunity to travel to the Philippines and spend there for a few weeks uh, uh, on vacation. And then during that trip, I got the opportunity, or invitation rather, to visit uh, the office of uh, a minister in the local congregation uh, of Skyline in the district of Bulacan. Pakatitiyaking di na mabibigo. Pakasusuriin ang taglay na turo. Nalalamang tama ay ibabandila. Ipapahiya niya madaldal na dila. And before I went to his office, uh, two things were clear in my mind. No one would treat me into joining a church. Absolutely no one. And the other thing was that I would immediately reveal the wrong teachings of this church, the criterion I had in my mind would be what they teach about the nature of Lord Jesus Christ. When I entered through the door, Brother Arthur Byron greeted me, we shook hands, and without any further introduction, without any further small talk, he asked me, What do you 
believe about the nature of Lord Jesus Christ. I got goosebumps. Hindi inaasahan naging kaganapan. Sa kanyang nasa gupa ay tumiklop naman. Meron kaya siya na sadyang napatunayan? Ano naman ito na pakikinabangan? I clearly saw that the questions posed, answers given from the Bible were as pure biblical teachings. I was really, really amazed that indeed there was truly a church that truly taught what was stated in the Bible. Ayaw nang magrelihiyon. Heto na kayo ngayon. Sa simbahang iglesia, kayo nakatoon. Paano na yung dati? Iiwan nyo ng gayon? Sulido ba kayo sa inyong desisyon? That moment was the turning point for me. I remembered what happened on May 29, 1979 when I in my mind considered that if there is God, if there is true Church of Christ, one day I will find it. This was the day and I did not need any further conviction to join Iglesia ni Cristo. Di ba kayo inuto nitong kapatiran? Yun kasi ang sabi ng mga nagmamasid lang. Sa INC raw, pag naanib ka naman, sang katutak na pambobola, inabot mo daw hirang. Kakantyawan ka at pagtatawanan, ang turing sa iyo'y walang kwentang nilalang. Kahit nakapag-aral, bababa ang kinalalagyan sa mata ng tao, mag-iglesia ka lang. May napanood ako, itinaboy ng magulang. Ang tito at tita ko, pinalayas naman. Dito sa TV, napanood ko kailan lang. Dahil nag-iglesia, tinabangan ang magulang. Kulang na lamang, palayasin sa tahanan. Naghihad lang po yung family ko po talaga. Especially po yung magulang ko po. Dahil ayaw po talaga nila sa iglesia ni Kristo. Uh, talaga po yung paghad lang po sa akin nila. Umabot na po sa punto na uh, palayasin na po ako sa bahay. Um, uh, Tindig na po ako ng mga salita na nakasakit din po ng aking damdamin. At Um, umabot din po sa punto na ilalabas na po yung mga damit ko pag uh, hindi pa po ako um, tumigil sa pag-anip po sa Iglesia ni Cristo. The first and foremost like trial I guess was putting up with persecutions from my family because I'm like the youngest. I'm like very happy and go getty. Uh, but whenever I mentioned uh, that I joined Bible studies or I went to worship services, they would always give me like a look, I guess. Even at family parties, they, they were like, oh, who is she sort of thing. Uh, that's not the girl that we raised. Uh, my mom would be like, oh, are you, are you uh, not our family anymore or like... Do you care more about the church than your family? Kumusta naman ngayon? Ano na ang kalagayan? Sa aking pakiwari, kayo ay nasisiyahan, naliligayahan sa inyong nasumpungan. Yan ba yung hindi nyo nakita sa kinagis ng samahan? My membership in the Holy Church has been the whole guiding light, the focus, especially during these trying times. I have seen in the news as well as I have met many people around who are not members of any church and not especially Iglesia Ni Cristo and they are or have been devastated because of the pandemics. For me the functions in the church gave strength every day. We have been busy with our activities and duties in the Holy Church. We have not been able to have time to even worry about the pandemics. Ilang panahon na pala itong nakaraan nang kayo ay umanib sa iglesyang samahan. Ang lagay ng buhay ay kumusta naman? Wala na ba kayo 
sa madilim na lagay, pinanindigan nyo ba itong pag-iiglesia? Masasabi nyo bang kayo ay tunay talaga? Hanggang kailan kaya? Hanggang sa dulo ba? Kailan man iyon ang mundo'y magwakas na? I have had the privilege, God's gift, to also enter into the office of head deacon and have family where all of my family members, my wife, children, are officers in the Holy Church. Kung kayo naman ay mag-iimbita sa mga tao po na di nyo pa ka-iglesia, ano kaya itong sasabihin sa kanila para tularan kayo sa iglesia ay sumama? Being an atheist before I was invited to join Iglesia Ni Cristo, I can wholeheartedly tell to everyone to accept an invitation to listen to Bible study in Iglesia Ni Cristo. Whether you believe in God or not, give that possibility and chance that will be a life-changing experience.